it was mentioned to me by our middleman that did you or am I misreading you? That you kind of uh, read in detail the strip of that city movie and this very predicate makes it clear why I don't like it. Everything, everywhere and so on. Because what I didn't like in it is that with all these different versions, at the end it has this shitty conclusion, but this is the real world, we should accept it and so on. I would like, what is missing for me in the movie is precisely what you pointed out this, but we don't know where we are and so on. This uncertainty is lost, I think, in the movie. You know, no, you're completely right. I didn't I didn't read it ahead of time, but I did interview the directors, uh, writers on my podcast. We had a wonderful conversation. They're very smart people, but the demands of narrative are different than the demands of physics is the problem. And not only multiverse movies, but time travel movies have the same feature where even though there's multiple timelines or whatever, the, the narrative focus implicitly lends more value to certain characters and devalues other characters. And if this were the real world, that would be completely illegitimate, right? Like all the different people in the different timelines, they have a right to exist. You telling me you're going to eliminate my timeline just because it's not yours? You're a genocidal monster. That's terrible. 